Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're right at the business end of the season. Today, we could end up in the Europa League final, but we need to beat Barcelona because we're a goal behind after the first leg. And also, we could win our second lot of silverware of the season. Welcome to Making Tottenham Hotspurs again. Welcome to episode 56 of Making Tottenham Hotspurs again. My name's Mark and on today's episode, as promised in the intro, we have two games for you. The Europa League semi-final second leg against Barcelona and a Premier League game against Leicester. Um, both have a significance if we can beat Barcelona because we are 2-1 down from the first leg. Harry Kane scoring after 60 minutes but injuring himself in the process um but uh, two goals from uh Barcelona in that one goals from uh Minguez after 34 minutes and Araujo uh, Ronald Araujo from the penalty spot after 81 and that was really annoying because had it not been for that it would have been a 1-1 draw and brought them back to the uh, Tottenham Hotspur stadium with a 1-1 draw would have been fantastic we were on top in that game. Uh, we need to produce a similar sort of um, game this time round. And I think we stand a reasonable chance. Um, and then, uh, so that is the first game. And uh, if we were to do that, we would end up with a Europa League final um, against either Arsenal or Atalanta. And it would come up right at the end of the season after the Manchester City FA Cup final. Uh, we'll see if we get that uh, today or not. Um, and uh, then it comes to the Premier League. Leicester City we play in the Premier League, currently seventh in the table. This is how the Premier League table looks after the last episode. Um, we opened a seven-point gap of, up over Manchester United. Um, by virtue of the fact that they lost to Brighton in the last episode um, and we beat Wolves 7-2, which increased our uh, <clears throat> goal difference somewhat. They're not going to catch us on goal difference. They've got to score something like 24 goals. Not going to happen. <clears throat> um, and we've got to crumble, uh, basically. Three games left to play, nine points available. Two points would see us uh, pretty much albeit not mathematically, but uh, would see us win the uh, the, the title. Uh, but um, a win would secure it because it would put us on to 92 points and they can't catch us on 92. So uh, a win against Leicester would secure the Premier League Championship. Uh, just one thing to note here is uh, last season, Manchester United won it with 89 points. <clears throat> um after 38 matches and on the previous season when we won it, uh, we won it on 89 points. So 89 points seems to be a thing. Uh, we will actually uh, break that uh, if we were to win today. We've got three games in order to break, break that. 89 points, uh, the maximum we can get, I think, is 98 points, if, I'm, uh, if my maths are right. Okay, so that is how today is panning out. Uh, two games, uh, two very, very interesting games. And, of course, keeps our, uh, hopefully uh, we'll keep our uh, chances of winning four lots of silverware this season alive. And, uh, as I've already said, potentially would end the series. Subject to you telling me below that you don't want me to end the series. You want me to take it on for one more season because it only will be one more season because FM23 is on the horizon. Right. We're going to get into the uh, episode, get into our first game of the episode. It is against Barcelona at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. One goal behind. It's 2-1 effectively at half time after the first leg. We need to win this one by probably two clear goals in order to win 
and get through to the final. Where is the final? Actually, have we actually check check that out, guys. The final is at the uh, the Ernst Happel Stadium in Vienna. That's where uh, the final is. If we are lucky enough to get there, and uh, Atalanta and Arsenal one one after their um, first leg. So uh, we'll be facing one of them two in the final if we get there. And on the team to face Barcelona, Castile's in goal, Hernandez, Saul, Upper Meccano's back in the side after having that game's rest against Wolves. Emerson Royal out on the right. Lakelso and Holzberg in midfield. Kuman, Mazulia, and Son are our attacking midfield. Son and Kuman swapped over. Uh, I, I've not had too much to do with that. It was just the fact that my assistant told me to swap them over, so I've swapped them over. Abraham, having scored five goals last time out against Wolves, is up front for this one. Latula, Romero, Dembele, Ali, Regillian, uh, Bergwin and Silva all on the bench. And, of course, because it's a televised match, we have a preview. We've won three of our last five, drawn one and lost one. That one we lost against Barcelona in the first leg. Barcelona having won three and drawn two of their last five. At the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for this one. And Barcelona in their red and blue kit with their split shorts. Not their split shorts, but different coloured shorts. Oh, and it's a goal! It's uh, through the question of side there, I think. Some, I'm pretty sure, was offside, to be fair. That's not going to count. And uh, Oh, it has been awarded. And we are back level, and it's all square, pretty much three minutes into the game. Headed on by Abraham. Son, I think, was just lurking behind the defender. Had a little bit of an edge on him and got in. <clears throat> Pedri has got a yellow card. <coughs> Excuse me. La Kelso Mazzulia. And a question of offside again. <coughs> VAR is busy today. And it's awarded as well. We are two up after just eight minutes. I'm not quite sure what was wrong with that and why they thought it was offside, but... Um, Not quite sure, but uh, anyway, we're on side. Can we get three? Son. It's uh, Abba Meccano. He heads that clear, but Diaby is going to get there. But Kuman steals a run thunder on him. Kuman back to Lakelso. Lakelso, we're really up for this, I think. But Kuman, Mazzulia looking for his second of the game. Didn't get it, and uh, they break. Dangerous on the break, of course. 3 2 on aggregate. What a good start to the match. And uh, I think uh, I've got to give it to my assistant. Uh, the uh, Kuman and Son so far is inspired. Oh, Abraham! And the goalkeeper made a... Uh, Tegan made a huge mistake. And Abraham, on the form that he was with five goals last game, he was not going to make a mistake this time out. Not at all. Oh... Goalkeeper tried to pass it back to De Jong and Abraham was lurking. And we are 4-2 on aggregate. Mazulia, Son, Hodgeberg, Le Celso, Saul. Hodgeberg, I think he's got a yellow card. And I think, if I need to check, we'll roll him out of the final. Abraham, he's through. Abraham scored. This is a rout. 4-0 against Barcelona. It is 5-2 on Anger. We throw this away. We really, well, in fact, if we throw this away, I'll resign. This will be the last game of the series. Seriously, Abraham, what form is he on? <laughs> Kane's not getting back in this side anytime soon. Uh, he won't play because uh, he's injured possibly for the rest of the season. But on this form, wow. 4-0. Who would have had that down as 4-0? 5-2 on aggregate. Here they are. 
Um, are they going to get a goal back? No, Son cuts that out. Where's Son doing defending there? Appa Meccano, Emerson Royal, Son. Son's lost the ball to Vina. Diaby, Memphis, Emerson Royal, Castiles. Mazzulia flicks it on for Abraham. Kuman, what a way to come out. Lovely flick ball there. Kuman, been dangerous on that left side. La Kelso crosses the ball. It's not there to anybody, but Appa Meccano's come forward. And he's gone all the way back to Castiles, who's out of his area. Castiles fires that one forward. It's headed on. Mazzulia! And only by the uh, thingy of the goalkeeper, who has been absolutely fantastic, saving that one, La Kelso. Kelso with a corner. It's uh, sort of drilled quite low, actually, but it's gone out for a throw. Will we see the throw? No. That is just... I think, I don't know if FM's gone bonkers, but in the scheme of things, that first half was the most dominant half of football I think I've seen at all in Football Manager. 16 shots, 8 on target, so pretty much 50%. Um, Barcelona have had no shots. Well, obviously, and because of no shots, they've not had anything on target. They have had 56% of the possession. But possession's no good if you don't do something with it. And we're four goals to the good. Five, two on aggregate. We are one foot in the final. As I said before, we throw this away, then it's absolutely ridiculous. They have got to score uh, four goals, I think it is, currently. Uh, but we've scored four in the first half. They could score four in the second. Um Latest scores on the other side, it's nil-nil. So 1-1 one, one on aggregate, Arsenal versus Atalanta. So we're no nearer knowing who we will be playing in that final if we have such a comprehensive second half. We've just got to have such a comprehensive second half. Um, it, it, otherwise, we're, we're, we're not going to be in it. But, I mean, I have to say, Tammy Abraham, five goals against Wolves, two goals against today. Something's got to go bonkers wrong. And you come back and join us for the second half. No changes at half time. Why would you change a side that was so dominant in that first half? I can see them changing formation at the bottom of the uh, thingy there, but um, hopefully to no avail. That's coming down up at Meccano under that. So we're around the half mile mark. And uh, Hernandez has given that ball away. Memphis is in, and he's going to get one back. No, Castile's blocked it, and it looked as if it was going to trickle over the line, but uh, it went wide of the post, thankfully. Memphis will take the corner, crosses it in, and it's headed clear by Saul, I think it was. De Jong now. He's going to try and get this ball back into that area, but Son is having other, other ideas, and uh, it ended up going to nothing. Barcelona, two shots, two on target uh, now. La Kelso's given that ball away. We're going to blow ourselves up here, having been so dominant in that first half. Abraham's going to try and win the ball, but couldn't. And uh, seeing a bit more from Barcelona, what we didn't see in that first half. Pedri is in, and it's a goal straight through Castiles, and they've got one back. It's 5-3 on aggregate. And as I said, you can't count your chickens if they come back here. through Castiles. I think we need to be looking at a new goalkeeper for next season. Operation instructions. Right. What is going on here? Aguero has come on. So we're going to treat him like we would do anybody else. Garcia. Never trigger press. De Jong needs to be tackled hard. Pavard as well. Right, I think we need Pedri. We don't know anything. And we're also going to mark him, I think. Try and mark him out of the game. We head down to 75 minutes, our normal substitute time. That's all we've got to highlight. 
just as I was about to do something. Lo Celso with the free kick. Lo Celso swings it in. He's headed goal. Uh, offside. Uh, VAR, I think three out of our four goals, five goals so far, have been looked at and checked. It's a goal, and we are 5-1 up. That's cancelled out. Nothing wrong with that. The referee is checking everything from our side of things. I'm not quite sure what is going on. Uh, Atalanta and Arsenal still 0-0, 1-1 on aggregate. Uh, we are 6-3 on aggregate as it stands. That three-goal gap opened up again now. Uh, we are going to have a look at some changes. Uh, Mazulia is tired, and I'm going to bring Dembele on for him. Kingsley Kuman, who's had an absolute stonking game out on that left-hand side. Uh, Bergwin would come on for him, ostensibly. Mind you, Abraham is tired as well. Kingsley Cooman can come off then for Bergwin on that side. Uh, two changes we'll make for now. Definitely up for this match. And we're underway again. As we hit 86 minutes. Right. They're not going to get back with three goals. Tammy Abraham is tired. Do we take him off? I don't think we do. We've got a choice here to make. And um, it feels like... It feels like Dembele... If uh, it can do defensive, so I think we're just going to do drop that down in there, make him a defensive. Dembele is probably not the best player for that uh, role. Right, Dembele and Holzberg swapped over. Do we take Abraham off or do we take Son off? Kelso is also tired in midfield, but Dembele's come back in there to shore it up. Emerson Royal is tired at the back. Um, Regillian. I think what we do is bring Romero on for Emerson Royal, and then we swap Emerson Royal and Saul over. For Romero going into his familiar central defensive position. And that will be our change. Point of finger. Make me proud. Well, let's try and see the game out. Uh, that one cut out by Hernandez. Pass from Barcelona. They've not been at the best today. It's, uh, fired into the area. but uh, And it's headed back in. Holzberg. Got a... Block there from one of the Barcelona defenders. It's a fired up field. Get it out of the way. A corner we have now. Son with the corner. It's steep, but the goalkeeper, Stegen, comes out and clutches it to his chest. 5 1 the scoreline. 6 3 on aggregate. Four minutes of injury time left to play. They've got to score three goals in that time to get back in this. Crossed into the area, it's blocked. Holzberg and defenders doing their job. Dembele, Saul on that far side. It's not going to happen. And we have won. That is an impressive win. Really is. 29 shots, 13 on target, 3.65 on the XG. Not so good on possession, but hey, I'm not worried about that. They had six shots, three on target. They needed six goals there. In order to beat us, they didn't get it. Uh, just a consolation goal from Pedri after 67. But Nicholas Saul, a court headed corner um, after 77, put us back in front. We are in the final of the Europa League, boys and girls. Wow. That is some game against Barcelona. 2-1 down. I thought, eh, this is going to be a tight affair going into the, into the second leg. But it wasn't as tight as I thought. The question is... Who will we be playing in that final in Vienna? Let's find out.
Well, it took extra time, but we will be playing Arsenal in another final, this time in Vienna in the Europa League final. It's going to be Tottenham, Arsenal, an all London final, but in Vienna. Uh, Arsenal winning it 2 0 in extra time. Goals, a uh, penalty spot after 98 minutes and a goal after 103 minutes from Martinelli. Uh, give them a 3 1. Uh, extra time win and uh, that's how the final will be we'll have a look at how all that pans out in just a few moments from now we're still on for the four bits of silverware this season let's have a look at how our season will culminate there's confirmation of arsenal 2 atalanta nil and the other scoreline which is i still can't believe tottenham 5 barcelona one 6-3 on aggregate we are through to the final of the europa league manchester city fa cup final isn't our final game of the season so uh we've still got leicester to play and the potential to actually secure the premier league title in this episode which really makes the next episode a bit of a, a non-affair we will have it all the same uh, newcastle and manchester city in the next episode then a, a single match uh, FA Cup final episode, the one after that, and then, which could be the culmination of our series, if uh, we've won the FA Cup by that point, uh, the uh, Europa League final against Arsenal could be, as I say, the culmination of our season and our episode, no, our series rather, uh, could round it up because if we win four competitions unless you tell me in the comments below that you want me to carry on and you need to get them in there fairly quick i would suggest this episode right how do we follow that uh i'm not sure possibly by winning the premier league against leicester and here is the side that will face leicester in this uh, game at home, which uh, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which could actually seal the Premier League title, Castile's in goal, Hernandez, Romero, Apamagano, and Emerson Roll are back line. Le Kelso and Hodgeberg in midfield, Son, Ali, and Kuman Ali in because Mazulia is um, resting, and uh, well, we just thought we'd give him a rest. Um, Albeit it does uh, beg the question, do you play him this one, this game? Uh, we might, we'll might, we see how Ali gets on. And it might be that Mazulia comes on um, to uh, shore things up if we're not doing so well by about half time. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we'll rest him. Um, if, we, if we secure the title today, we can rest him going into the uh, end of the season and the games um, which we've got coming up. Um, against Manchester City in the FA Cup final and, of course, the uh, Europa League final now as well. Abraham continues up front in place of uh, Kane, who is injured. Latula, Saul, Mazulia, Silva, Regillian, Dembele, uh, Bergwin, uh, Michael and Divine. They're all on the bench. And a televised match because of its importance. We've won four three of our last five one uh, drawn one and lost one that game against barcelona was the loss they have won four of their last five losing the other one so um yeah and there is confirmation of that table manchester united winning their game uh on the saturday round of games which means they're four points behind us as it currently stands so we do need to secure a result today really to ensure that we are champions otherwise it will go over to the next episode. And uh, I'm not sure we want the next episode. Arsenal will go down all right. Castagna in that show. That's gone out to Barnes. Thomas floats that in. And uh, oh, blocks going in here. And Upper Meccano's on the floor. I'm hoping he's not injured. No sign of an injury. Just headed that clear. Emerson Royal then with a throw in to Coman. Emerson Royal looking for Hodgeberg. Didn't quite find him. Upper Meccano ambling back, but Castiles comes out. Upper Meccano, Sewell, Hodgeberg, Abraham, Kuman, Abraham 
misses that ball. Son, Deli Alley, he's eighth of the season, and uh, Son with the assist. 20 minutes on the clock, it's 1 0. And as it stands, we are champions elect. Kuman. Abraham missing that ball, but didn't really matter in the end. And Deli Alley running through. Leicester sixes and sevens at the back there. The Kelso with the corner. Kuman, it's headed in. And who headed that in is a question of whether he was offside or not. It is a goal. And the goal was Tammy Abraham. He's 33rd of the season. Headed it backwards. It was never in question, really. Um, it all happened so quick. I didn't really see it. So 2-0 then. After 27 minutes, as we head down towards half time, Leicester had three shots, none of them on target so far. Hernandez crosses that one in, didn't really make it. Lakelso picks the ball up though. Holchberg holds it up. Emerson Royal, he's in the area, crosses in. Abraham straight into the arms of Schmeichel. Half time comes and we're. Comfortable. We've not hit the 50%, but we're comfortable. 12 shots, four on target, two of those are goals, 49% possession. Leicester have had four shots, none on target so far. 0 0.47, 51% uh, 51 of the possession. Uh, we are ver champions elect, basically. And you come back and join us for the second half. No changes at half time, but Son and Kuman have swapped sides as they did in the big win against uh, Barcelona. Hodgeberg with a free kick, but he's gone back to Hernandez. Hernandez comes forward, finds Son on this right side now. Son crosses it in. It's headed clear, but only as far as Hernandez, who will try and get this ball back in. Le Kelso, Hodgeberg, Le Kelso, and it's tackled, Hodgeberg. Romero, the print is about to run. Apologies. Upper Meccano, Hodgeberg, Abraham, Emerson Royal. And uh, Emerson Royal crosses it into the box. It's cleared. And yeah, sorry about that. Uh, somebody in the household decided they were going to print some stuff off, which is fine. It's, 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 a, it's a house. We do these things. Right, Lakelso with the ball back to Upper Meccano. As we continue to attack, Son Hodgeberg gets the ball forward to Kuman. Kuman. Deli Alley. He scored. And ninth goal of the season. 3 0. And as champions elect, I think we're nearly there. Son Hodgeberg. And Deli Alley. I think that's his second of the the uh, of the game actually. So he's uh, enjoying himself, getting the opportunity in front of Mazulia for this game. We go past the hour mark, and to be honest, I think we can probably do some changes because we're that far in advance. Upper Meccano can be rested. Nicholas Sewell can come on for him, and uh, while we're at it, Kingsley Cooman. Stephen Bergwin can come on for him and we'll stop at that for the moment. The changes. Just a little bit of extra legs around and about. Arsenal and Bale back equal against Aston Villa. Sewell comes forward. Romero. Le Kelso, but he lost the ball and that was a lovely curl ball and Castile's struggling to get there as we hit 80 minutes we can probably do our final change uh, Min Son is the other tired person Mazulia not coming on for him and we don't have another attacking right side player Unless we push Ali out there and bring Mazulia on. 
The other thing we could do, of course, which we could do, we could move Abraham to there and then take Son off and bring on Andre Silva is the only other out and out striker we've got. Um, do we do that or not? I don't know. No, I don't think we do. Hang on a minute. Let's go back a stage. We'll do, we'll push Ali out to the right. Or do we push Bergwin out? We'll push Ali there. Bergwin out to the right. And we'll just bring Mazzulia on. He'll uh, have just a bit of a stretch. Uh, where are we? Deli Ali Minson can go off for Mazzulia. Or do we bring Dembele on? Let's bring Dembele on in that attacking role from behind the striker in that number 10 slot. And Leicester have a throw in. Barnes deep and Castils pushes it up onto the crossbar and it's cleared. They have a free kick just inside their half, Soyuncu. Emerson Royal back to Castiles, who fires this one forward. Abrahams will get under this. Didn't quite get it to Dembele, though. And Leicester seems to be having a bit of game at the moment. That ball gone out wide, and Cunha is going to get there. And Leicester looked like they might sneak one back here. Deep, and uh, Emerson Royal heading that down. Uh, but uh, not cleared upfield. Who was that? Didn't quite get it away. It was Bergwin. Target. He's going to get this ball into the area, or at least try. He's crossed it into the area, and it's a headed goal. Potter, Lewis Potter, getting a consolation for Leicester. And we'll sort out in a minute. I'm guessing that uh, they brought on some players. Plus, we're getting tired, I think. Right, let's have a look. Opposition. Opposition instructions. We need to cancel this uh, game out. Castagna. Cancel him out. Yeah, here we go. Lewis Potter. Trying to block him off. On that target. And Sumeri. Us in a better position, I think, than we were. I think the other tactic we will do, we can't do it for the minute, we can now, is our usual trick. Uh, doing this, then Mole Holchberg is better in that defensive position. And we drop down to balanced and try and see the game out. Four minutes of injury time and it's all over. We have won the Premier League champions. A 3-1 win against Leicester has got us there. 20 shots, 8 on target, not quite 50%. 1.68, 53% possession against their 9 shots, 4 on target. A consolation goal for Lewis Potter on 85 minutes. But that was about all. And there is confirmation with two games to play, 6 points available. 91 is the most Manchester United get. We've got 92 points. We are champions of the Premier League. Goal difference of plus 82. And we have broken our record for um broken our record for points in a season. 89 currently was the uh the total. Uh, but we've broken that today. And there's confirmation also. Tottenham do the double breaking news. And uh 3-1 win against Leicester today. 2-2 draw at Aston Villa and Arsenal West Ham beating Crystal Palace by two goals to one. All right, let's have a quick look and see what all that means. Uh, clinch Premier League title uh, on a mild spring afternoon. I think we thought we might get the uh, having collected the trophy, but maybe that comes a little bit later in the season. Uh, Tottenham do the double. So we've got two of the possible four trophies in the cabinet. Uh, 
all delighted with the club vision, challenge for the Premier League title, and we've passed that. Uh, it's ahead of end of season 25-26, so a couple of seasons ahead, two years ahead of schedule. I need to try and do it again next season. That's if we go for next season. Uh, Post-match press conference, we're not going to do. All delighted with a uh, with club vision progress in Premier League. We've already had that. Uh, oh no! Right, okay. So that was challenge for the Premier League title, and then win the Premier League title. So we're three years ahead of that. Two times in three years for Tottenham, and the Tottenham board happy. There you go. Twice in three years at Manchester United. In between, Ali on form. Tottenham crowned as champions. And uh, splendid stuff is that. Uh, right, we will do the post-match conference and what have you offline. Um, or oh, is there some more? There's some more. Uh, no, because we haven't done these, have we? Right, okay. Yes, so there we go. That is the end of that season. Two lots of silverware in, two to go. Uh, we'll be back in our next episode for the final two games of the Premier League season. Newcastle and Manchester City. Immaterial now, but it would be good to uh, just keep going and hit that with record points for the season and uh, see how we finish up. Two uh, wins in those last two games would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then we'll come back for the FA Cup final and the, the episode after that will be the Europa League final and as yet, we don't know whether it's going to be the final episode of the series with FM23 coming down the line. It could well be if we win four. I think we probably have achieved what we set out to do, and that was making Tottenham Hotspurs again and then leave it to somebody else to take it on from there. We'll wait and find out. And we'll also um, have to decide who we're going to manage in FM23. Well... I know it's a day late because of the Queen's funeral on Monday, uh, but I really do think and hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. That will keep you up to date with all future episodes of this and new series as they are released. Um, also, our other two series, which are currently going out um, to be a legend and from the bottom to the top still going. They will uh, finish somewhere around the new um, FM coming out so uh, keep an eye out for how we're getting on with those uh, new episodes of making Tottenham Hotspurs again are currently released every Tuesday and Friday at 4.15pm and if you want to keep up to date what's happening on this channel and more you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2 that will keep you up to date what's going to happen on FM23 as well thank you for watching hope to see you for the next episode it'll be episode 57 it's out on Friday we're back to normal and uh, hope to see you then till then goodbye